Hello everyone, Rich here, back for part 2 of this SS Ceramic tutorial build. Uh, today we're going to focus on the ship's main hull, which is the black section over there on the prototype. Uh, also the ship's main deck, I think we'll get that in place as well, and also the beginnings of the ship's superstructure. So a little bit to do, but uh, we'll focus on the hull first. So what we want to do now is go to the, the, uh, the draft that we built in part 1. Um, and as before, like we've done with the previous row, you're going to add signs if you want to to the tops of the red so you can see i've gone from zero to uh, zero to 18 down that side zero to 18 that side and also done the same on the back so that is just optional if you want to add that but anyway what we're going to do now is focus on the front end first and we're going to start at zero and as per usual i'm going to start and just do one side and flip it over like we did before anyway for section zero we want to go up two one two and then up six one two three four five six and then up eleven one two three Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'll just recheck that again to make sure that's eleven. So that is eleven, as it says at the end of that pink center. That's fine. So that's the uh, section zero. Okay, that's the center line. Now I'm going to work on one side. So I'm going to work on section one on one side and just do like I, say, like I keep saying, just do one side. But as before, like I was saying in the previous row, uh, previous video, it's best to do each section at a time or each row at a time and. It depends on how you want to do it. If you're working with other people, that's even better. But anyway, that's that. So what we're going to do now, move on to section two. Let me just adjust my notes. So for section two, we want to go forward two. So one, two, forward. And then up uh, up four. One, two, three, four. And then up six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then up eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. So they're both the same height. Um, the, the hull will drop down in height by a couple of blocks. It is... Uh, is about three blocks higher than it usually is. The, the main hull itself on the prototype is 13 high, but the bow is slightly higher because it slopes upwards. So as we build this further back, the hull will get lower by one block. Uh, I think three blocks in total it will drop. So uh, anyway, not a big deal. Anyway, that was section one. So now we move on to section two. And for section two, we want to go up two, one, two, and then up uh, five, one, two, three, four, five, and then up six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and six again. One, two, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. That's dropped down by one already. Um, I think that's fine. So yeah, that was uh, section two. So now we move on to section three. And for section three, we want to go up four. So one, two, three, four, and then up five. One, two, three, four, five, five again. One, two, three, four, five, and then four. One, two, three, four, like that. And that's gone down in height again. I think that is okay. Yep, that'll do. So yeah, that was section three. Now we move on to section four. Uh, so I just keep looking back, making sure everything's fine. <laughs> right, anyway. Section four. We want to go up four. So up one, two, three, four. And then up five. One, two, three, four, five. And then up four. One, two, three, four. And then up three. One, two, three. And three again. One, two, three, like that. And there we go. That's the same height as the previous. That's fine. So now we move on to section five. And for section five, we want to go up three, one, two, three, and then up four, one, two, three, four, four again, one, two, three, four, and then up three rows of three. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, like that. There we go. So that's that one done. And now we move on to number six. And for section six, we go up three, one, two, three, um, and then up four. One, two, two, three, four, and then uh, three, uh, four rows of three this time. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then two, one, two, like that. And there we go. So as you're going further back, the hull does, well, each section does sort of get a bit more leany forward, if you know what I mean. Um, but that was section six. Now we move on to number seven. Let me just adjust my notes. Number seven, we want to go forward two. So one, two, like that. Forward two, like that. And then up two, one, two, and then up five rows of three. So one, two, three, 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 like that. And then two rows of two. So one, two, and one, two, like that. And there we go, that was number seven. And then we move on to number eight. And for number eight, we want to go up two, one, two, and then up five rows of three. So one, two, three, one, two, three. One two three, one two three, one two three, like that, and then uh, up three rows of two. So one two, one two, one two, and there we go. That's number eight done. Now move on to number nine, 
and for number nine we want uh, forward two so one two like that and then up two one two um, and then up uh, four rows of three so one two three one two three one two three one two three and then four rows of two so one two one two one two one two like that and there we go that was number nine now we move on to number ten and for number ten we want to go forward two so one two like that and then up three one two three and then up uh, three again one two three three again one two three and then up four rows of two so one two one two one two one two like that and then we go forward two one two forward two again one two and then up one like that and there we go that drop down in height again by one block that's the, the height uh, that's the uh, yeah, the whole drop down by one more block that's fine I think that's the final oh no there's gonna be another drop but that's not a big deal that's how it should be so then we move on to number 11 now so for number 11 um, we want to go up two one two like that and then up three rows of three so one two three one two three one two three like that and then three rows of two one two one two one two and then forward two one two forward three one two three and then two one two and then up one like that and there we go that's that section there and it's getting more curvy as we go forward if you look at it front on it will start to look well, very vague like there's a curve going on there but uh, yeah it, it's not too bad it's not brilliant not perfect but it will do anyway now we move on to number 12 and for number 12 we want to go up three one two three and then three again one two three three again one two three and then we want four rows of two so one two one two one two one two like that and then forward two one two forward three one two three and then forward two one two and then one on top like that and there we go that's that section there I think that was a copy of the, the previous row but that's not a big deal anyway now we're on to number 13 and let me just adjust my notes bear with me right so for number 13 we want to go up two one two and then up uh, four one two three four and then three one two three and then three rows of two one two one two one two and then forward two one two forward three one two three and then two one two two again one two and one on top like that there we go so that was section 13 and then we move on to number 14 and for number 14 we want to go up two one two up four one two three four up three one two three and then three rows of two one two one two one two and then forward two one two forward three one one two three and then two one two two again one two and one like that and I think that was a copy of the previous one um, but there we go that's not a problem so that's uh, that was section 14 and now we move on to number 15 and for number 15 should be different so for number 15 we want to go uh, forward two so one two like that and then up three one two three three again one two three and then up six rows of two so one two one two one two one two one two one two like that and then forward three one two three like that I think that's alright isn't it uh, can't really tell actually so no, hang on. no it wasn't that's wrong so it wasn't forward it was up so we want so it's the six rows of two and so it's one two three four five six and then up three sorry so it's up one two three there we go so it wasn't forward three it was up three there we go that's that's what meant to look so i'm reading my notes wrong apologies there all right now we move on to number 16 and hopefully this will be a bit better so for number 16 we want to go up two one two and then up four one two three four and then up three one two three and then up four rows of two so one two one two one two one two and then up three one two three and that's dropped down by one block again I think that's okay yep yeah, that's fine uh, here I'll leave it at that and uh, that don't look too bad so now we move on to number 17 
and for number 17 we want to go up two so up one two and then up two rows of three so one two three one two three and then two rows of two one two one two and then up three one two three and then up four one two three four and then in white we're going to go up four so one two three four and these are this is part of the superstructure okay so that's how that should be so it's up four white at the end and it should look something like that now we move on to number 18 which is the last one now for number 18 we want to go forward two so forward one two and then up two one two and then up five i think one two three four five and then up seven one two three four five six seven and then in white we go up four so one two three four like that and there we go that's all 18 rows of the front half of the ship done or the front quarter of the ship done and uh, there we go that's how that should look so like I was saying before if you're, if you're doing both sides at the same time it will look a lot better but you know I'm just doing one at a time so uh, here that's how it should look so if you look at it front on now it does have a bit more of a, a curve going for it so that's not a big deal that's okay so now what you want to do is as before like we did with the red you just go on the inside and start filling in all the gubbins and thingies as before so I just do the first few rows like I did previously and then I do a jump cut so let's get these first few rows out of the way there will be a few areas we're going to have to correct later on it's not a build error it's just some areas have got to be extended so we'll worry about that when we come to add the deck so don't need to worry about uh, it's not mistakes it's just some uh, alterations which need to be done during the build so it's not really alterations it's just sort of adding uh, adding a few extra black blocks but not a big deal we'll get to that when we sort it out but uh, as at the moment I'm just going to fill in the first few rows and hopefully everything will look okay so there's the first few rows and I've just fallen off and so there you go. there's the first few rows filled in and it should look something like that and uh, when it's done it should look something like that but uh, hey ho there we go so what I'm going to do now I shall do a jump cut while I fill in the rest and I'll also do the other side and then we can move on to the back of the ship so um, back in a moment <laughs> okay back again so there's the hole filled in and it should look something like that in theory don't forget you've got to fill in the two white pillars as well basically uh, the white pillar on section 17 and the white pillar on section 18 you've got to fill in the white gap between that that should look something like that and uh, yeah it shouldn't look too bad I've also done the other side as well so that's all uh, filled in and uh, like I say it shouldn't look too bad one more look from the inside and there you go so there we are that's the front end done so what we're going to do now is go to the back end and uh, do the same thing again and hopefully I'll get this right this time I've already done this twice and uh, screwed it up so uh, third time a charm hopefully <laughs> anyway so we'll go to section zero as the same as before and whenever I say forward okay during the build I actually mean back okay because I'm the wrong way around but anyway so some areas are going to be up some areas are going to be forward okay so we'll start at zero and for section zero we want to build up five so one two three four five and then forward three one two three and then four one two three four and three again one two three and then three rows of two one two one two one two and then up three one two three like that and that's the beginnings of our stern the back end of the ship and that should be 13 blocks high so I just measure that so what I count it so that's four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen there we go so that's 13 high that's fine right so now we move on to section one and for section one we want to go forward no sorry up two so up one two and then up three one two three and then up two again one two forward three one two three and then forward four one two three four and forward three again one two three and then four rows of two one two one two one two one two and then up two one two like that and there you go that's section one and now we're on to section two and this is where things fell apart for me last time good thing you're doing rehearsals isn't it uh, okay so for section two we want to go forward three rows of two so one two one two one two like that and then three one two three and then two rows of four one two three four one two three four and then three one one two three and then four rows of two one two one two one two one two and up one no up two sorry up two like that and there you go that's section two done and now we move on to section three 
Now for section three, we want to go forward two, one, two, two again, one, two, and then three, one, two, three, and then three rows of four. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. and then three, one, two, three, and then five rows of two. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and up one like that. And there you go. That's section three done on us then. Remember, if you do both sides at the same time, it will look a lot better. So if you look at it back on, back straight on, you do have a vague curve uh, beginning already. But like I say, if you've got both sides going at the same time, it shouldn't look too bad. It should look a bit better. Um, anyway, now we move on to section four. And for section four, we want to go forward two, one, two, two again, one, two. Forward three, one, two, three. And then forward three, no, sorry, four rows of four. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then three, one, two, three. And then four rows of two. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and up one. There you go. So that was section four. And now move on to section five. And hopefully this all works out fine. Just bear with me. So for section five, we want to go forward two rows of two. So one, two, one, two, like that. And then we want six rows of four. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One two three four. One two three four. One two three four. One two three four. And then three. One two three. Three rows of two. One two. One two. One two. And then up one like that. And there you go. That's the beginnings. Oh, a bit more beginning of the stern curving fantail shape thingy. And now we move on to number six. And for section six, we want to go forward two rows of three. So one two three. One two three. And then we want seven rows of two. No, seven rows of four, sorry. So seven rows of four. One, two, three, 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 four. So that's seven rows of four plus three. One, two, three. And then two rows of two. One, two, one, two. And up one like that. And there you go. And it doesn't look too bad. Looks odd at the moment, but when it's finished, it will look okay. So, right, okay. Now we move on to number seven. So for number seven, we want to go forward three. So one, two, three, like that. And then we want, oh god, nine rows of four. So one, two, three, four. 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 One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So there's nine rows of four like that. And then we want three, a row of three, one, two, three, a row of two, one, two, and one like that. And there you go. That's section seven. We'll have one more look at it straight on from the back. And yep, looks a bit different. And then we move on to section eight. And for section eight, we want to go, oh, bloody hell, we want 11 rows of four. Okay, so forward eleven rows of four. So one, two, three, four. 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 So that should be eleven rows of four. I won't bother counting it. I should take my word for it. And then, and then we want a row of two, one, two, and then up one like that. And there you go. That's that section done. And now we move on to section, I don't know, number nine. And for number nine, we want again 11 rows of four. So one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. Right, so there's 11 rows of four. And again, we want a row of two, one, two, and one on top, like that. And then we go, that's section 11. Uh, section, section 9, sorry, with 11 rows of four. So now we move on to section 10, and it can't be any worse than that, hopefully. So for section 10, we want, ooh, th only three rows of four for this one. So forward three rows of four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then two rows of five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And then we want five rows of four. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, 
one, two, three, four. And then we want three, one, two, three, two, one, two, and one, like that. And then we go, that's section 10. And for section 11, we move on to that. And section 11, we want forward three rows of four. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then four rows of five. One, two, three, four, 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 five. That was four rows of five. I did say four rows, didn't I? So four rows of five like that. And then we want a row of f one row of four. One, two, one, two, three, four. And then th two rows of three. One, two, three, one, two, three. And then two rows of two. One, two, one, two. And then one on top like that. And there you go. That was section 11. And now we're on to number 12. Over here. And for section 12, we want forward two rows of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then five rows of five. So one, two, three, four, five. 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 And then four. One, two, three, four. Three. One, two, three. Two rows of two, one, two, one, one, two, and then up two, one, two, like that, and there you go. Making sure they're all the same height, and that is fine. Alright, so that was number 12. Now we're on to number 13. Just bear with me while I sort my notes out. Alright, so for number 13, we want forward three rows of four. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then three rows of five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then two rows of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. A row of three. One, two, three. Two rows of two. One, two, one, two. And then up two. One, two, like that. And there we are. That's the same height. That's fine. Now we're on to number 14. And for number 14, we want forward two rows of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four rows of five. One, two, three, four, 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 five. Four rows of five. And then we want uh, a row of four. One, two, three, four. And then three. One, two, three. Three rows of two. One, two, one, two, one, two. And then up two. One, two. And there we are. That's that one done. Now we're on to section f uh, 15, I think. And for section 15, we want forward two uh, two rows of four. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Three rows of five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then four. One, two, three, four. Two rows of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three rows of two. One, two, one, two, one, two. And then up two, one, two. And there we go, that's that one. So that's all the same height, that's fine. Now we're on to number 16. And for number 16, we want to go forward three. One, two, three. And then forward six rows of four. So one, two, three, four. 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 I think that's six in that zone. One, two, three, four, five, six, that's fine. And then we want a row of three. One, two, three. Two rows of two. One, two, one, two. And then up three. One, two, three. And then in white, we want to go up four. So one, two, three, four. And that's the end of what will be the superstructure. That's fine. So that was section 16. Now we're on to number 17. So we're nearly at the end of this, thank God. So for section 17, we want forward three, one, two, three, and then two rows of four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then two rows of three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then two rows of two, one, two, one, two, and then up two, one, two, up five, one, two, three, four, five, and then in white, up four, so one, two, three, four. There we go, that was section 17. And now finally on to number 18. <clears throat> number 18 we want to go forward three rows of two so one two one two one two up two one two and then up four one two three four up six one two three four five six and then in white up four 
one two three four like that and there we go that is all 18 rows of the back end of the ship the stern and it should look like a bloody mess but there you go that's how it should look at the moment on one side at least and then what you want to do then is to go on the inside I just look at it from the back first look at it straight on from the back and we do have a sort of vase shaped curve going on there kind of looks like a toilet bowl at certain angles but what you want to do now is if you've got both sides in place just go on the inside now and just start filling in the gap so like we did with the front end and with the red just go on the inside and start filling in all the gaps and uh, everything should all be fine that's the theory at least so the stern, the stern area at least the beginnings of it is fairly simple to fill in it's just a few small holes here and there it's just when you get further forward it gets a bit more awkward But anyway, that's the first few rows filled in, and you should have a sort of a more unison toilet bowl shape. And uh, there we go. So what I'll do now, I should do a jump cut while I fill in the rest, and I'll, I'll also do the other side. And what I'll also do is the big panel between section 18 at the front end and section 18 at the back end, just fill in the, the black wall and also the white wall on top. So I'll fill all that in, and then we shall move on to something else. So I shall return in just a moment okay back again so there's the hull all filled in and it should look something like that also filled in the side panel and the side white wall as well so the white wall goes all the way along the top as well so that is how that side should look and like I said I've also done the other side all the way around here and it should look something like that marvellous and if you look at it straight on from the back you will have the uh, the bowl shape which uh, looks pretty good so that is the hull complete and uh, there we go, so that's that job done there. So what we need to do now is go to the front end of the ship and to start filling in the deck, which is going to be slightly slanted at the front because we've got a slight shear on this ship, which is basically the, the deck sloped upward at the front. So we're going to go to the very tip of the bow, the very tip of the front of the ship, and start adding the shear, which is only two blocks higher than the main deck. So we go right to the tip of the bow on the inside, and we're going to go to the third block down. So on the inside here, go three blocks down. So one, two, three three and on the third block down we're going to build back with wood 18 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 like that so that's the center line basically and then you build that out to the width of the ship like so and if you need to replace or add an extra black block there on the end of the thing I did say at the beginning we may need a few add a few extra extra black blocks so there's the extra one there and we do the same the other side build it out to the side and then add a black block at the end if you need to so that's fine and then so that's the uh, the first section of the shear and then underneath that shear in the center again we're going to add a line of 36 so that's the first block there 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So there we are, 36 there. And then build that out to the side. Like so. And if you need to, add a couple of extra blocks. So a black block on the end, and then build those black blocks all the way forward until they connect with the rest of the hull. That's fine. And then do the same on the other side. So build the deck out. And then add the black blocks where needed to. And there we go. So that's the first two blocks of the or well, first two levels of the shear, and then underneath the last section we just built the 36. We're just going to add a block there, and this block here is going to go all the way, or this line rather is going to go all the way to the back end of the ship, because that is where the main deck goes. So I'm not going to bother building that all the way, and I shall use the fill tool for this one. But uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to seal off each section underneath. So where the uh, the hull uh, or the deck doubles up at each section, I'm just going to double that up under each row. So when I do fill this in with the with the world edit, it will. Uh, line it up properly rather than uh, make a mess of it so that's that section sealed off there do the same with the other one seal that off underneath double it up and double it up here as well so what you need to do now while well, we've got those two well three sections of the shear or the, or the deck done we can go back to the front end and start filling in the deck like so and I do I do one side and I'll uh, give you an idea on how that should look Although you probably know anyway. Doing this freehanding rather quickly doesn't always work. 
And there we go. So that's the first shear section done, or half of it anyway. So you need to do the same on the other side. And then the next deck down is the same. Add the shear all the way along and back and so forth. And there's quite a large section of this one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stand on a block over here and use the fill tool to fill this one in. So we use fill wood by 300, although it doesn't make that much. And there we go, there's that section filled in, half of it. And then the next section, which is basically the whole deck, which would go all the way to the back end of the ship. So I shall, uh, I'll, um, uh, I shall do the other two sections first, fill those in, and then uh, everything will be okay. So I'll just fill in the other side. Like so, there's the uh, bottom set or the middle section, and then the last front section here. Like so, so there we are. There's the first two planks or first two areas of the shear done. You can see it's just two blocks higher, which, which is fine. So there's the first two, and then the last section, like I was saying, goes all the way to the back end of the ship, and uh, it's going to take forever to do. So I'm going to use the weld edit. So I'm going to stand on this block here, and this should fill in all the way all the way to the back end of the ship and the deck as you can see goes along the top line of the black like so so the, the black and the then the deck are level so I should just wait for this to fill in it's about 8,000 blocks and there's a very loud motorbike about to go by so uh, which one will happen first and there's a motorbike gone by and will the deck fill in Right, so there's the deck filled in. It took a bit longer than expected, but never mind. There we are. There's, that's all done anyway. So there's the first two shear bits done, and then the rest of the deck goes all the way to the back end of the stern, or the back end of the ship, whichever you want to call it. And it should look, in theory, something like that. There we are. So that's, that's the deck all filled in. So that's uh, that job done. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go back to the front end, and we're going to go to the back end of the row of 36. So the middle section of the, of the, of the deck, or the middle deck piece over here. I'm going to go to the center of that and I don't know where the center is so I'm going to just measure out each section first so just, know, just so I know where, it, where the center line is. So there's the top section the center is there and then the next section the center is just there. So there we are. So there's the end of each section. So I just put the red blocks there to mark the center so there we are. Right so we go to the middle section which is 36 blocks long. We're going to go to that the middle section or the middle section and go to the center and then we're going to count back on the deck below, on the main deck. Uh, we're going to count back 21 blocks. So that's one there. And I'll use, I'll use the measure tool. So there's the first block there. And we're going to count back to 21. So that's 10, 15, 20, and 21. So there's the 21st block there. And I'll put a red block to mark that. So that's the center. So it's 21 blocks back from that middle section. So 21 back there. And then from there we're going to build a wall of white across the width of the ship. And that is going to be... Uh, 33 wide, so that should be 16 on the other side. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, like that. And then the sides, 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4, like that, connecting up to the side white wall, like so. So do the same on the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And then 1, 2, 3, 4 on the side, like that. And then you increase these walls to 4 high across the front and the sides like so I'll do half and then I'll copy it across just to save a few seconds <laughs> like, so, like so actually I'll do it all might as well so build that bit there like so and there we go there we go that's the front wall done like so so that's the front of our superstructure and it should look something like that all right so what we want to do now is go to the back end of the ship um, before I do that though I just to point out when we come to add the deck in a minute the deck will sit along the top line of the white like so so that's where the deck will go but we're going to add that in a minute so we're not going to worry about that just yet so we're going to go to the back end of our um Super stretch. We'll go right to the back of the ship first, right to the tip of the stern, and we're going to go to the centre wood block, which is this one here. And from there, we're going to count forward 
uh, 76 blocks that's seven six blocks so from the center of the back end count forward 76 so that's 10 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 60 65 70 and what was it we want 76 so 76 is there so that's 76 forward which is there so there we are, seven, six blocks forward. And then what we want to do then is build a wall across the width. I don't know how wide it is exactly because the ship is slightly narrower here, but we'll build out anyway. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So it's fifteen like that. Same the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, like that. And then before you build up, you well, you get to build it up, you're gonna build it to three blocks high. So only three high like so so only three high because the deck when we come to add the deck will sit on top like so so um just build this to three blocks high all the way across and there we go so there we are it's three blocks high like so and it should look something like that now go back to that center block on the back here and we're going to add uh, we're going to add three wood blocks. So one wood block on the center like that, and then you're going to do two blocks back. One, two, like that. So three wood blocks in total, and then a colored center block at the end, like so. And then we're going to build a wall, or the end of the end of the deck, and that is going to be uh, how wide do we want it? We want it 19 wide. So that is how wide is that? Nine either side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine that way, and. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That way. So there you are. There's the 19 wide bit, like so. Can't really see it, but there you go. And then from the from the outside of the 19, you want to build back towards the stern. Uh, build back 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then out six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then forward to connect to the rest of the hull. So forward should be. I don't know actually, we'll build it anyway. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Make it 13 to connect up there. So you yeah, have to build it forward 13, like so. And then underneath that 13 we just built, we're going to add, along the black, top of the black, we're going to add another 13. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, like that. And that's going to be a sort of open promenade area. So leave it blank like that, and it should look something like that. And we'll do the same the other side. So what was it? It was out. We've done the out 19. So we want to go. We want to build uh, back 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then out 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then forward 13. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13 like that. And then underneath again 13. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There we go, and then on the uh, on that row of 13 on the bottom here, we just go from the end of that closest to the superstructure. Just add another line, like so, of two blocks to connect in the back, uh, the top to the bottom, and do the same on the other side. Just add two extra blocks, one and two like that, and there you go. That section there, and now we can start adding the deck. So the deck will sit inside these rows of 10 here. So start adding the deck if you want to. So, so add that deck all the way forward to the front end of the superstructure and of course the deck will sit like I was saying on top of these inside walls here at the back and we'll line up with the wall that we, those couple of demo blocks I showed you at the front end so that should all line up so what I'll, what I'll do I'll use the fill tool here to fill in this deck and hopefully this will work fine so I'll just stand here hopefully no motorbikes this time oh there we go so there's the deck filling in and at the back end here it should look something like that so you can see you've got the overhang of those two sections here at the back and they don't look too bad and this and the deck goes all the way forward to that front wall we added a few minutes ago so that shouldn't look too bad so what I'm going to do now just go back to those back walls uh, the back horseshoe shape thing here and what we're going to do is in between the top section and the bottom section here we're going to add a few pillars so I get our end rods which is what I used and then every fourth block 
we're going to add three pillars. So one, two, three, four, add a pillar. One, two, three, four, add a pillar. One, two, three, four, add a pillar. So three pillars like that. And then if you want to add a stair block in the corner there to uh, make it look a bit neater. So get our stairs just there like that. And there you go. That's that little corner section done. So I should do the same on the other side. Add our pillars every fourth block. So one, two, three, four, pillar. One, two, three, four, pillar. One, two, three, four, pillar. And then the stair blocks like so. And there you go. There's that little section there. And uh, it don't look too bad. And then as before if you're familiar with my build and what you want to do on the inside here of this front wall or this back wall rather um, you can start adding your doors and windows so I shall go from the ends and start adding my doors so get my doors put a pair of doors there and then sort of every other couple of blocks put a couple of doors a couple of windows rather up to the center so there we are two doors and four, two doors and four windows do the same the other side like so windows windows and windows and there we are there's our back wall done and uh, it don't look too bad so we're going to do now what well, the last job for today is to go to the front wall what we built a minute ago and we're going to add a couple of stair block uh, a couple of staircases to them so we'll go to our uh, front wall here and we'll go to the outside edge outside edge here and we're going to count inwards for our stairs so we'll get our stair blocks first which are these things here just throwing the door away which I didn't mean to do so for the stairs we're going to count inwards uh, the fifth block in from the end so we go one two three four five and then remove the two top blocks in the white and replace with stairs so two rows of stairs that's what we want plus blocks underneath for support and there we go so what was it? it was the fifth block in so that's one so, well, it's actually the sixth block if you count the outside. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Build a staircase. And then we add up banisters. Two up, two up, two up. Two up, two up, two up. And there we go. There's one staircase. And do the same on the other side. So sixth block in, basically. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Remove two blocks. And replace with stairs. Going down to the main deck. And there we go. Oh, hang on. Put the balusters. Two up, two up, two up. Two up, two up, two up. And there we go. There's our staircases done. And that is pretty much all I'm going to do for today. Um, got quite a bit done anyway. So the ship's hull is all complete, which is quite good. I did screw that up a few times during rehearsals. Well, not rehearsals, but I did do a couple of takes before I got this all right. Remember, it's not the takes that takes the time. It's the, take, it's the time it takes between takes that takes the time. That's uh, I think that's how uh, Roy Scheider explained it. Um, but there we go, that's uh, that story out of the way. So what we're going to do for the next part, so this is part two over with. For part three, we'll sh we should do, I think, the next two decks of the ship superstructure, which shouldn't be too bad, because this is only a, a relatively small ship. So we'll do the next two decks of the superstructure, and maybe uh, the ship's wheelhouse and some of the details. So um, hopefully we'll get that done. And uh, yeah, sh things shouldn't be too bad. But uh, first of all, before I go, I'm just going to show you the, one of the next builds. Um, I did do a preview video of my uh, Desiree Bell. But uh, I, have, I did come to a conclusion that it did need a complete rebuild. So here's the complete rebuild, well, the, the rebuild in progress of my Desiree Bell. And uh, I'm about 70% through it. And uh, it doesn't look too bad at the moment. There's a few issues with the original build. I did a preview before I noticed all the problems. But uh, this is the rebuild of it. And this thing is slightly longer and much wider. And uh, a bit more stable if this thing was on the water. So yeah, I've uh, redesigned it and uh, made it a bit bigger. So it's it's kind of the same, but not the same as the one I showed in the preview. So that is the Desiree Bell. And uh, if you want to see the preview of that, then have a look. But the, the one in the preview is different to what will actually be built in the tutorial. But uh, we'll see. But that's that's the new one coming up anyway. So uh, I'm not going to bother with a new pro, uh, preview. But uh, that would be something for another day anyway. Anyway, that is uh, it for part two. Like I say, part three will be the, what I just explained. And we'll go from there. So this is Rich signing off, logging off and disappearing. And I shall return in part three. So... Uh, 
Bye for now.